Now, it brings to mind for me my definition of communication. And it's this. Communication equals information plus presence. And some of you are writing this down, which I would agree. Write this one down. This is a good one. If you are talking to a colleague and you've got an issue with that colleague, you might have a lot of information about, well, this happened and then you didn't do this and I didn't get this from you in time and then there were errors in this piece of work that you shared with me and so forth. And you've got all that information, but you deliver it with a really harsh presence. It's not going to land well with them and they're not going to be as amenable to reaching agreement with you. So when we take information and presence and put them together, and likewise, I mean, you can take that same situation and you can be really nice about it. And I'm from Minnesota and we're really nice in Minnesota. There might be some... Minnesota nice that spills over into Wisconsin and neighboring states as well, but we're really nice. If I deliver that really nice feedback about how difficult it is to work with you, but I don't share any specifics, how inclined are you going to be to change your behavior? Not very much. So we need the information and we need the delivery or the presence to be um, in, in lockstep.